In this lesson we will perform a test of uh, how Eloquent works and is it fast and how much it slows down the query. So I have three functions which are almost identical. So test, test2 and test3. Within test we will launch Eloquent query. Within test2 we will launch uh, query builder query. So we won't refer to model book but instead we refer to db table. And the third test will be just a simple raw SQL query with db select. And let's see which is faster and how much faster. In my database I've seeded uh, 10,000 books with 1,000 authors, which is like relatively large to test on. And I measure microtime float, which is uh, like from official PHP doc, uh, docs example, just how much time it took. And also I have Laravel debug bar installed, which will show exactly what queries are running. Let's go to our page and let's see what happens. This is test number one. Let's refresh that again. And it queries the books in half a second. So 0, 05, let's refresh again. Maybe 06, 07. Okay, 06, 05, something like that. And what is happening actually under the hood? So the main query is select from books by title, which is this part. And then relations with author actually. Uh, launches another query to select all authors by all books that have been pre-selected. So this is pretty huge query. It's not huge in itself but uh, a lot of options, a lot of uh, parameters and it's pretty fast, so relatively fast, 16 milliseconds. But the trick here is how much time it takes to process that. So probably this query returns about like thousand authors, well maybe less, like 100 or 200. And the object is pretty huge, uh, 10 megabytes of RAM and uh, one second of request duration means that it takes quite a lot of time to process that amount of data uh, in order for us to, to reference that later in books, author name, for example, with relationship. Now, let's see the difference uh, if we don't use Eloquent, but we use join. We use just joining by table. This is test number two. And instead of two queries, you see one query. And this is how faster it is. So imagine 06 and 008. Let's refresh to be sure. Even faster, 07, 05. See, even faster. And the difference is not only in terms of time. Look at this, seven megabytes memory usage instead of 10. And then overall half a second of duration instead of one second. Why is that? Because the query is pretty similar in time, so 32 milliseconds, and in test 1 is like 40 milliseconds in total. As I said, it's about processing the query, so beware of the results that Eloquent actually returns your query and how much data is in the result. So use pagination, use take, use uh, like select fields, uh, and see how many queries are there actually running. Final test will be with test 3, which is just raw SQL query, so we don't use uh, where here. Well, we do use, but we don't uh, use query builder structure. And let's see how faster it is, if it is faster. Refresh, and 011, probably it will be faster. 16, no, 16, 08. Well, it's, it's still faster, but it's uh, on the same level as test number two. I've tested a few times before shooting this video, so it's probably really similar. So test two is 06, this is 07, comparable. So the query is really similar. So select from books inner join is in test two, and in test three we have a little, a little different query, but pretty much the same thing. And memory usage and duration is pretty similar. So test two and test three, this and this one, is really similar. So you can safely use a query builder uh, instead of raw query. And actually raw query isn't, well, safe or uh, flexible. So query builder is good. But eloquent, uh, this one, especially with relationships, be careful what you're actually loading. And I will show you exactly uh, another example. So we're loading all the books by all the authors here, which takes uh, 0.6 of a second. Now, what if we get only 50 books, for example? In our database, we have 10,000, I think, and we take only 50. Let's see how it affects the speed. 
See? Oh, oh, 009, and we have 50 books, which means that the author's query is actually the same query, but it has less data uh, returned. Uh, smaller object, which is only 3 megabytes, and see how it affects. And what if we do take 5 books? Time is roughly the same, uh, so it doesn't affect that much. So 5 and 50 is okay. But if we don't uh, do take here, it returns a thousand book, which is like huge impact on performance. 